One of the things that is interesting about these two paintings and a little bit invisible is a similarity in the training of the artists who made them. The artist who made, or the painter who made the Codex Mendoza, the painting with the eagle and represents Mexico City at the moment of its foundation, would have been trained by Spaniards in a special school associated with a monastic complex or a main cathedral, perhaps in Mexico City. Likewise, the indigenous man who painted the three men from Esmeraldas would also have been trained by friars in Quito, perhaps, probably in an art school as well as a school where he would have learned reading and writing in the Spanish tradition. So that both of these paintings are made by indigenous artists in the Americas, both with not identical kinds of training, but similar kinds of training under the tutelage of, of friars. In one case, Franciscan, in another case, probably Dominican, but nevertheless, a strong schooling aspect links these two paintings. In terms of their compositions, their language, their modes of representation, I think they're very different. One, the three gentlemen from Esmeraldas, owes much more to European style, European graphic conventions and modes of representation. If we were to paint the faces of these men a different color and remove the gold jewelry and the shell necklaces, we could imagine them coming from many other places in the world. Even if we didn't know the Spanish, or even if we couldn't read the Spanish writing, or we couldn't read the plaque that bears the inscription identifying the painting, we could conceivably imagine them being Africans. They don't necessarily tell us that they are from Esmeraldas. The painting of the Codex Mendoza represents individuals in a way that tells us very little about their physical characteristics or their physical features. We can't look at Tenoch or either of these conquering warriors and actually get a sense of what they really look like. These are much more conventionalized, much more abstracted modes of representing the human form. Like the three gentlemen, though, every one of the founders that matters in the history of Tenoch Chitlan, each one of those figures in the quadrant the upper part of the painting, has their name set next to them, just as these men here have all been named.